Hello guys, welcome back to this video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're well. In this episode today, we will be discussing my journey through pubophonia. If you have never heard what it is, it is basically a mix of a psychological slash a physical condition where your voice just doesn't break. Symptoms can be as your voice, your voice is weak, you struggle to talk, etc. Now, let's discuss how it started. It all started from a late November day, where I just got up, you know, like did my usual things. But what I did notice is that my voice slightly was weakened. Like, I thought it was just the common cold, but... You know, I could just feel my voice was about to break. Now, at that time, I really did not like puberty. Like, I really could not accept it. I really wanted to stay as a kid. So do you know what I did? I started speaking in an artificially high-pitched voice. Thanks, comrades. My name is Richard Ferris Chungus here. And today, we will be reviewing some American candy. I haven't recently been, I, I actually received... But then, as COVID cases continue to rise, we entered a third lockdown, which was, start, which was one of the most loneliest times of my life. Like, I did not communicate with one another of my age physically. Like, it, I just did not like it. But then, when I came back to school, that is when people started to notice how high-pitched my voice was. Like, they're like, Richard, your voice is so high-pitched. And a lot of boys in my year at that time were having their voices broken. But it's only me that happened the opposite, that my voice was starting to become more high-pitched. And then, later on in year 9, my mum my started to notice... And then she started contacting the GP. But then in 2021, my artificial voice started to deepen, but it was still pretty weakened. Welcome back to this Richard Ferris Chungus channel. In this episode today, we will be reviewing pizza flavoured rock. So, I'll however, in 2022, that's when big, that's the, that's when things start to get a little better. All of the sudden, the GP has actually responded and then they set me up with a speech and language se therapy sessions in August of 2022. Because it was a FaceTime meeting, you know, it wasn't a face-to-face. -face. They couldn't exactly examine what was wrong with my voice. So I just told them I struggled to talk and like, you know, I could feel dryness, stiffness in my throat. They prescribed me with Gaviscon tablets as well as um, voice exercises. But then, when I started doing the voice exercises, I noticed there was a spark of deep voice in my... Um, there was a spark of deep voice. I don't know how to explain it, but this is when I started to discover my adult voice. So, when I came back to school in September... I started to like, you know, I still talked in my artificial voice, but then I started like scaring people like this. I thought this was my abnormal voice. And then everyone was like, Richard, do your deep voice. Like I was famous. In 2023, that's when things started to get a lot better. Like, so my speech and language therapist has sent me to an appoint to an appointment in London so they can physically examine my voice. So when I went to um, London for my speech and language therapist, they started like talking to me about my lifestyle and that, you know, my voice was would. And then that's when my high pitched voice started to get worse because I the more I felt pressured about my high pitched voice, the more weaker, the more drier it would get. So then she started physically examining my throat, but then she discovered that this is my real voice. And, and she, didn't, she didn't just force me to speak in my deep voice, but instead she was like, you know, she was telling me to like, try to play around and like find out which voice you liked. 
And at that time when I started speaking in my fake high-pitched voice, like, I just couldn't accept speaking like this genuinely. So, you know, after that session, I still talked in my um, artificially high-pitched voice. But then one day I just was like, you know what, screw it. I will, I will just come to school and talk like this. So I came to school on a Monday morning. Everything was normal. I even had a little haircut. But then I just started talking like this. Everybody was shocked. I was famous that day. I'm terribly sorry about that ranting there. I just got a little over fixated. But, you know, now I'll, like, explain to you what it was like living an average day with my, you know, my high-pitched voice. I would get up, but then I would get up, and do you know what else? I'd struggle to talk. My voice would be, like, you know, like, scoffy. It would be dry. So, you know, I'd start off with a water, and then, like, mm -hmm. like, this is how I'd clear my throat. I wouldn't clear it normally, like, <clears throat> I would clear it like, mm, mm, I, I forgot how to do it. I haven't cleared my throat in a long time. Another problem would be like, if if I mean, if we were in a class discussion and the teacher would ask me what's the question, or the teacher would ask me to read out loud, like, you know, I would have a lot of voice cracks and kids would look at me. It was not pleasant. However, my speaking in my high-pitched voice, I didn't always struggle. It's only when I was like really relaxed or didn't concentrate on my voice at all, I'd actually sound normal. I mean, there were certain subjects, certain people and certain times of the day where my voice would sound normal. But, every, but you know, anyone else, anytime or anywhere else, like my voice would be weak. And then, you know, I'd come home and then I'd relax, you know, watch the telly or use my phone. My voice would be in a slightly normalised matter. But then, you know, when I go back to school the next day, you know, I would, like, struggle again. Other pubophonic struggles I would experience was, like, you know, ordering food or, like, asking supermarket staff. Not only that, but if I was anxious outside, you know, I would put my hand over my mouth, you know, to make, sh to, you know, just to make it look normal, just to, like, give an excuse for my bad voice. And not only that, but even when I was in public and talking to people, I feel relaxed, such as, you know, my mom and dad, my voice would struggle. I'd still struggle because there's all these people around me. I don't want a little kid thinking, Mommy, why is his voice so weird? Like, I did not want people thinking that. I was struggling to talk, even on the phone, even in public. There were so many places where I was just struggling to talk. It was a nightmare. Some of you may be asking, does my pubophonia still exist? Well, to the answer to that question, yes and no. The no, obviously, because, you know, I don't struggle to talk anymore. Well, not as much. And what do, you, and what do I mean as not as much? Well, I might, I might be able to talk who I want to, wherever I want to. However, my voice is still a bit strained and weakened. Like, my ep... See, you'll notice when you watch my videos, I have a lot of, like... <clears throat> you know, this is because my voice is a little, like still a tiny bit weak. I don't know why it's weak. Maybe it's because of the pu maybe it's because I was putting an artificial voice my for like two years or maybe it's because I was screaming a lot when I was a kid. But what I have noticed that when I'm reading books in class, like I, I tend to like, you know, lose breath on, on like every sentence. Everyone else is just like talking normally, but I kind of lose breath. And also, I, a lot of the time, I mix up my words and sentences as well, as you notice on my videos. To this day, I'm still doing speech and language sessions, not necessarily because of my pubophonia, but because of my weakened voice. What I'm told to do is that I'm trying to, like, you know, ease myself out, as well as, like, you know, making, like, alliteration noises such as, you know, as well as well as like you know humming so i can at least strengthen my voice a little bit i know you're getting bored of me as well as my 
beautiful kitchen views but i just want to say thank you for you know sticking around this video thanks for like listening about my you know speaking troubles history and we'll see you soon like just please make stay around for like you know more amazing content and we'll see you soon goodbye